Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merritt. Today we're going to do module 1, lesson 36. Our objective is I can arrange and analyze and draw quantities that are one less. <laughs> so, remember when we want more of something, we're going to add to it. When we want less of something, we're going to take it away. So today we're going to take one thing away each time. So to warm our brains up today, we are going to pop a balloon, and I want you to show me that number of fingers in the math way. So on our hands, and then we're going to show one less. Are you ready? 100%. Three, one less is two. Good job. One, one less is, nice job. Five, one less is, two, three, four. Two, one less is, and four, one less is, three. Great job warming your brains up with one less today. Oh no, someone mixed up our towers of cubes and I need your help putting them back in order. Do you think you can help me? Phew. Thank you. We need to put them in order to show one less. So we're going to put them in order from most to least. Here we go. So one. Is that our smallest number or our biggest number? Our smallest number. So I'm going to put it over here. Good job because number... Number one is usually what we start with, but we need the most first. Now we have one, two, three. Hmm. Is one smaller or bigger than three? One is smaller. I'm going to put it down here in the middle. Because I don't know if that's my biggest number yet or where it's going to be. Then I have one, two, three, four. We just did a number that's one less than four. Four, three. So it has to go next to the three. Four, three, three, one less than three is two. Very good. So we have four, one less is Three, three, one less is two, two, one less is one. Great job. Thank you for all your help. So we have these number stairs here now, just kind of like what we did a minute ago, but they are in order. They are in order from 10 all the way to one. Do you think you can help me count from 10 all the way down to 1? I know you can count backwards, but do you think you can help me by saying blank, a number, is less, one less than, you think you can help me with that? Okay. So let's see how many we're starting with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten. Ten, I took one off. One less is nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nine, one less is eight. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to pop another cube off. One less is seven. Good job. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, one less is six. Six, five, four, Three, two, one. 
six, one less is five, five, four, three, two, one. One less is four, four, three, two, one. One less is three, three, two, one. One less is three, one less is one, two, two, one less is one. Now here's a challenge. One, what's one less than one? Zero. Great job. Okay, so now we're going to count the cubes in our circles. Question, do we need to count our cubes in every circle? I mean, it's good to check our work, right? But we can always do one less. And does this circle have the most cubes or the least cubes? It has the fewest or least cubes. Very good. So if we're talking about one less today, if we want to go backwards and we want to take things away, are we going to count up or count down? We're going to count down. And in order to count down, we need to start with our highest number, which is over here. So what we're going to do is just what we did a few minutes ago. Now I know it said we don't have to count any, every circle, but it's always good to practice counting down. Because sometimes that's a little bit tricky for some of us, and that's okay. So let's start here. How many cubes do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, one less is nine. Nine, one less is eight. Eight, one less is seven. Seven, one less is six. Six, one less is five. Five, one less is four. Four, one less is three. Three, one less is two. Challenge. If I had one more circle over here, well, how many cubes do you think would be in there? Good. One less is one. I would agree. I think if I had one more circle, there would definitely be a one in there because two, one less is one. Now we are going to go make some bracelets with our cubes. Now, I want to see, what do you notice? We had to keep the blue and the red ones together. But what do you notice? Okay, so each bracelet, the number of cubes goes up. If you're looking this way, what happens if I was looking at it backwards? Does the number of cubes go up or down? The number of cubes goes down. Very good. What do you notice about our red and blue cubes? Just like the towers, we have how many of each when we get to 10? Five of each color. Nice job. So what we have to do today, or our challenge, is we have to put the number of cubes, um, right, the number of cubes in each bracelet. Do you think you can help me with that? This is a perfect time for you to go get a paper and a pencil so you can practice writing your numbers as well with me, okay? Go ahead, pause me, and grab those things, and then come on back. Okay, so normally when we read, we go left to right, so from this side of the page to this side of the page. Today, since we're talking about one less, I want to start at the bottom here, okay? So normally we'd start at the top and work our way across. We're talking about one less, so I want to go backwards. 
Let's count the number of cubes on this bracelet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, why didn't I count this again? Right, because I already counted it. We don't want to count it again. So how many cubes do we have? We have ten. Very good. Straight line down. And then a circle around. That makes the number ten. Now ten, one less is what? Nine. I'm going to write a nine in here. So circle and line down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They definitely want us to count by one less because we got it right. Good job. Nine, one less is eight. Very good. Eights are kind of tricky. They're like a ice skating rink and you got to go whoop, like a figure eight. That's why they call it that. Lots of wiggles in that one. Eight. Eight. One less is seven. I see my five blue. Six, seven. Seven. One less is six. Now, why are there only red cubes over here? Good job, because once we got over the number five, we needed to add the blue cubes. But it was to help us recognize we had five red and five blue. So once we get past, like once we get here, we see that we have blue cubes starting. We know that our number is going to be bigger than five. Let's keep counting down by one less. You're doing great. Six, one less is five. Five, one less is four. Four, one less is Three and three, one less is two. Awesome, awesome job. I love how you practiced writing your numbers with me too today. That was really fun. So today let's recap what we learned. We learned how to count using one less statements from numbers 10, all the way down to two. We did have a few challenge questions where I asked you if I took one more away, what that would be, and that got us down to the number one. But we focused on going from 10 all the way to two. Each time saying blank, one less is blank. And we showed it on our fingers as well. You have an exit ticket today. It is in a Google form. I cannot wait to see what you know. I love being able to um, see you show me what you know. It's a great thing. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.